officials would be turned back. This underscores in a wider perspective. We should recall that the Russian Federation and Ukraine remain neighbors with close, often complex, historic, cultural, economic, and political ties. It is our view that it is in the interest of all of us that these two nations have positive ties with each other and with the broader region, restraint in the present crisis. I only wish to add that our primary diplomatic tool is constructive dialogue on the basis of the chapter in the Charter on Pacific Settlement of Disputes. The UN will continue to play its role in promoting dialogue for a peaceful and joint resolution of this crisis, which now has become more serious than ever. I have urged all authorities I encountered to ensure inclusivity in governance and while ensuring freedom of expression to curb hate speech. Ukraine is a multi-ethnic, multilinguistic, and multicultural country. Nationalistic rhetoric and politics uh, will be counterproductive and will further deepen the internal dividing lies within society. The Declaration of Independence by the Crimean Republic is a direct consequence of the application of the use of force and threats against Ukraine by the Russian Federation. And in view of Russian nuclear power status has a particularly dangerous character for Ukraine's independence and territorial integrity, as well as for international peace and security in general. Все эти годы граждане и многие общественные деятели Крыма неоднократно поднимали данную тему. Говорили, что Крым это исконно русская земля, а Севастополь русский город. И только теперь Воли и осознанный выбор народа Крыма были в полной мере реализованы. Russia is known for its literary greatness, and what you just heard from the Russian ambassador showed more imagination than Tolstoy or Chekhov. Russia has decided, it seems, to rewrite its borders, but it cannot rewrite the facts. The United States rejects Russia's military intervention and land grab in Crimea. These actions, again, violate the sovereignty and territorial integrity of Ukraine, Russia's own binding agreements, international law, the expressed will of most members of this council, and the letter and spirit of the United Nations Charter. Fortunately not approved by the acting president. 